The Drewski Dunk. The Cone Crush. The Polar Pile Driver. The Glacial Gravestone. The Frigid Finisher. The Zero Kelvin Crusher. The Hater Crater. The Canadian Counter. The Halifax Hammering. The Yukon Yeet. And my personal favourite, the Winnipeg Wombo. This stasis sequence seems simple, but there's a lot of nuance to it. In today's absolutely not thrown together video heavily inspired by a Twitter thread and then needlessly legitimized by patty cakes to a point where I feel like I needed to take it further, we'll be breaking down the elements of the Drewski Dunk and seeing how it will boost your KD in quick play. Well, it probably won't, okay, but it's fun, right? My name is Ascended Nomad, and I'm your Crucible Doctor. For the Drewski Dunk to work, you must be like Drewski. This means the minimum requirements are as follows. Number one, be a stasis hunter. Number two, be Canadian. Being from Minnesota or North Dakota is acceptable. Number three, prefer McDonald's coffee to Tim Hortons coffee. And number four, have a deep and emotional attachment to Twilight Oath. But when your friends ask you about the two of you together, you just say, no, 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 we're just friends. Now the setup for the Drewski Dunk is very simple. You will need to have Glacier Grenades, High Jump for maximal aerial velocity, though Triple Jump works just fine too, and you'll need to have unlocked the first Hunter aspect, Shatter Dive, which allows you to crash down from the air to shatter any and all stasis crystals in your radius. In terms of fragments, I'm picking Whisper of Fishes for increased damage radius of your stasis crystal when shattered, along with Whisper of Shards, which grants me grenade recharge boost for 10 seconds when I shatter a stasis crystal. Whisper of Hedrons is a nice to have, but you won't always need to free someone for the Drewski Dunk to work. Once you're in game, it's a simple matter of demonstrating why hunters are broken as hell and are the scum of the earth. You see, every warlock and titan hates hunters because Bungie had the audacity to give them a jump mechanic that, you know, actually makes sense. And apparently warlocks and titans can't look up, which would explain why they make such excellent companions to have for your raid teams. To Drewski dunk someone, approach a target or let them approach you. Throw your glacier grenade on the ground near them or where they're going to be in a second from now. Then jump up and use your shatter dive to land near the crystal to smash it. Easy pickings. There will be a learning curve of approximately one game to get the hang of it, which is how it should be, in my opinion, when it comes to highly satisfying gratification in the modern age of TikTok and Jake Paul. The Winnipeg Wombo can be used in all sorts of situations to bail you out or to annoy someone who came into your Twitch chat and requested a 1v1. As I mentioned in my meta video, Stasis as a whole has managed to introduce a no prisoners taken approach to shutting down overly aggressive players who have bad habits. You know, sweat lords who run Dire Promise and Felwinter's Lie, then tweet hot takes when they get frozen, and then make twit longers a bit later saying they're leaving Destiny, quote unquote, to go be bang average at Valorant or something. Yeah, those, th those folks. Now, I do want to cover a very, very important question, which I think you might be thinking about right now. Is performing the Hater Crater cheesy, cheap, and demeaning in some way? Yes. Yes, of course it is. So is doing your mum. But I have a great time anyways. And on that bombshell, I'm going to repeat some of the footage here and toss in some extra gameplay so I can hit that 8 minute mark and get some of that sweet ad I mean, show you some examples of the Cone Crush. I've been recording footage for a Stasis Mastery video and I've gotten quite a few of these clips already. I think it's important that you see how you can use the Canadian counter in a wide variety of circumstances. But just like your calculus teacher, I'll be sure to repeat some of these examples so you can really soak in how it's executed. And just for you, I'm going to play this channel's theme song underneath it. Consider it a montage. I'm Ascended Nomad and you just got absolutely Winnipegged. Enjoy.
actually made it towards the end, thank you so much. Honestly, I genuinely hoped you were entertained by this meme video. This all started through Drewski on Twitter when he laid claim to the shatter dive on a glacier grenade combo in a joking fashion. This led to quite a few meme takes and eventually culminated in my friend Glacial Void coining several terms for it. Further development of ideas happened in Drewski's stream and then Patty Cakes took it to its natural climax this morning. As for me, well, I just added my flair to it in as nomad a way as I know how. I hope you enjoyed this different video. If you did, let's do something different here. Sign off all of your comments below with babushka. Just to confuse everyone who sees this video and is wondering what the hell is going on. And also just for my personal amusement. There's something delightful about reading and saying that word. Babushka. <laughs> As ever, if you like this video, you know what to do. I'm a son of Nomad, and I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Cheers.